So today I na blah blah blah. Can I talk? Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's me, Jenny here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Getting Some Me Time Through Crafts. So today I have another unboxing from you from One Day Savings. So I will mention everything right now. Thank you, One Day Savings, for sending me what feels like two diamond painting kits. Um, you do get a 5% discount code, which I will link right here. I will put their website and these kits down below and now let's get started with the unboxing. Okay, so I have two kits. Now this kit, I'm sure this is the bigger one because it is 45 by 85 centimeters and like, come on, let's get real here. Look at that size difference. So we're gonna unbag this one last. Now let's open this. Okay, so the first diamond painting is a round drill of a gnome. And I must have been in some aqua mood because look at this. Look at the background of this color and now look at the background of the second kit. Like, is that not similar or what? <laughs> Anyways, I have been getting into gnomes lately. I don't know why. I have a few canvases with gnomes on it. I haven't done it yet. However, I just, I don't know what it is. I've just been getting into gnomes lately. So this is like a hippie gnome and it has peace with the peace sign. I love hippies. There's something about that culture I absolutely love and I think it's the freedom and how they just want to be happy all the time, which I absolutely love. So back to what I was saying is, I'll turn it on the side so you guys can see the whole canvas. There are 22 colors. Let's check the canvas quality or stickiness. Okay, so it's sticky, which I expect from One Day Savings. I have unboxed, you know, quite a few canvases from them. You get your regular kit. And you get every single, I wouldn't even say pastel color of the rainbow, but you do get, what, what would you describe these colors? pastel but it's not really pastel like they're a deeper color than pastel but it's not jewel colors because they're a lot lighter than that so whatever pastel and jewel is that's the color you get and I say pastel because it's light like a pastel color but jewel because it's got enough pigment to make it look jewel it's just not dark enough so anyways you've got these awesome awesome colors Okay, now let's check. Okay, I have to fold it this way because this um, was sitting in my mailbox for a while in the extreme heat and I'm assuming with the heat, the canvas must have embedded the folds just a little bit more, if that makes any sense. Anyways, so let's look up close. Okay, so in the hat over here, there is some confetti. There is confetti. I wouldn't say confetti heavy. Not every single symbol is different. There are a few rows where you can see the same symbol, so that's not bad. In the, uh, what is it called? In the beard, definitely color blocking a whole bunch of eyes. And the background is what <sighs> I'm gonna say a little bit annoying. So here, let me, let's look at one part here in the background. There's the blue part. So it interchanges between, my sh shadows are in the way. So it interchanges between H's and C's. And that's gonna suck because 
Instead of it being one color, you can just take a multi-placer if it was the same color and you can just place it down and finish the background sooner. So the one thing that bothers me, I don't mind multi-placing. I'm not very good at it, but I do like the fact that I can get it done quicker. However, when it comes to backgrounds, especially backgrounds, that is when I will use my multi-placer because I don't have the patience to be sticking on like turquoise colored background for like three hours out of this whole painting. I don't have the patience for it. Like where the actual image is, I don't need to use a multi-placer. I find it satisfying to single place it, but in the background where, you know, like it doesn't really contribute to the image. It does, but it doesn't. I just don't want to be spending hours upon hours like spending, you know, sticking one drill at a time and this pretty much like the same color drill. So we'll just leave it at that. Okay. The next canvas. I'm just, cause we know how big it is already. I'm just gonna unravel it sideways. Just let me put all this trash to the side. And you have this ginormous pitcher. Oh, I didn't realize it had special drills. Oh, this is gonna be a good picture. I'm so glad I chose this. Oh, I'm so happy. Anyways, back to my original thought. You have a huge picture of a seahorse. Okay, now I will go up and down with it. This uh, canvas is the length of my desk and my camera is in the way. So if you see some odd like hand bends, it's because I'm trying to maneuver around my camera. So look at this. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. I am so happy I chose this canvas. So I've been seeing this image in pretty much all the PR companies I deal with on their website and I want to pull the plug, but I don't. Anyways, I decided this time I'm pulling the plug. I saw it and I'm like, I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to order this. So here it is. Okay. I love the color. I, I love all this color. I love the sea. If you guys don't know, now you know, I love ocean life. I just, I love it. I don't know what it is. I just love it. Funny enough, my horoscope sign, if you guys are into that thing, those things, I'm actually a fire sign. But I like to see things with water. I've always liked it. There's something so tranquil about it. Anyways. Okay, you get your kit. You get, okay, so these bigger, I don't know, symbols are these circulars. I'm assuming these circular drills, I'm assuming they're bubbles. Okay, but look at that. Look at all those drill colors. So it's round drill. And you get lots of blues, lots of greens, and then you get your deeper blues and greens for the outline of the seahorse and the seahorse itself. Oh my God, I can't wait to start this painting. Okay, let's look all the way here. It is 24 colors, and I'm gonna assume that the canvas is sticky. It is sticky. It's also poured glue. What I, oh, look at that. Can you guys see that? I just made a mark with, my, oh, oh, the drills just fell over the desk. Okay. Look at that. Do you guys see that? I just made a mark with my finger. Like there's like a fingerprint. Can you guys see? I made a mark with my fingerprint. I don't know if you guys can see that, but anyways, that's beyond the point. No one cares about your fingerprint, Jenny. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at this. Oh boy, so where you see a ton of detailing, like on the horse's spine, we'll say spine, look at that. 
confetti or what this is confetti heavy pretty much every single block or not block every single symbol is different from the one beside it that's exciting but then you get nice color blocking in the seahorse's stomach in the head anywhere where you see detail it's it's a ton of color i'm uh, not color blocking sorry confetti you know so over here lots of confetti you do get color blocking in i guess the cheek area of the seahorse if that makes sense the background yes right here there is uh color blocking a whole bunch of h's and a whole bunch of sixes but it doesn't intertwine like h6 h6 it's like a block of h's and then a block of six and then it's all mixed up randomly all throughout the background one day saving i am very happy with this pr package and that concludes my unboxing from One Day Saving. One Day Saving, thank you so much for sending me these awesome, awesome kits. I will link both kits down below in the description bar as well as our website. Don't forget about that 5% discount code. Anyways, I will end the video right here. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe all down below or you can catch me on all my social media, which is right here. That's at Kiss Jenny. That's spelled kiss.jenny, Jenny with an IE. Or if you want to subscribe to my channel, click on my face right here. Or if you want to catch me in my last video, click right here. I upload videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.